Hey everybody, and now welcome to part two of the um, poison dart frogs here. Okay, um, I think where I was was I was uh, going to show you my misting system. Okay, now this one, there's a lot of misting systems available. People make out there. There's ones that are rather cheap, like um, what, like. Zoomed makes or Exoterra or whatever. Like I think they call them foggers though. Um those are they work, I'm sure. I haven't ever tried one. And then you know there's even if you really want to save a lot of money, bottle. Spray bottle, you know. Just open your cage here if I can do it with one hand. Spray it down. Do that. You can do that. It works just as well as any Mr. Fogger. It does. But, you know, you have to keep refilling your bottle bottle. And keep it humid enough in there. If you're gone during all day, like most people are, um, you have to stand there and spray for, like, a whole bottle of that, or for a few minutes, when you leave and when you get home. And that is kind of a pain. Um, especially when you know that there are machines out there that you can put in the timers and they will just go off whenever you set them to. Yeah. And so I just went with the Mist King system. It's the basic one. It was still really expensive, but you know, I think it was worth it. Um, yeah. But you know, it works good, so I guess you get what you pay for. Alright, here it is. I'm just gonna plug it in here. A little bit noisy, but I'm not here normally when it goes off. And you see that head right there just kind of pumps out the mist, so you can't really see it from the glare of that. You see the head, it just pumps out that mist. And on that timer there, you can just set it when to go off. I think it has eight different times that you can set it. So I set it to go for one minute, like every two and a half hours or whatever. And you have to set all the times in. And so it just does that, even at night time. So it keeps it real humid in there. I only get to see it, I think it goes off at like, um, I think it goes off at six in the, no, seven. It goes off at seven in the morning. I'm usually still here by then. And then it goes off at nine. And so yeah, I'm here then. And this is an unscheduled one, by the way. I just plugged it in. I took it off its timer. So you guys could see this. Frogs really like it. You know? But I'd show you what it all... Well, here's a spare head that we have. I'll send you a few. This is one of the dividers that you can plug into this tube here. Put one in, it goes in there. And you can have another send you, send you a lot of spare tube. And one end comes out of the other end. Well, this one would go in there with a tube going in and through it. And then the other tube would come over here or wherever. And you'd put that, the one that just has an end, and put it there. And so you have two with one hose. But actually this one, we can't get it to work. It just goes right through and nothing comes out of this head. So that's pretty much pointless. But one works for us. One definitely works. Oh, hey, there's the big one. He came out. They really like the mist, you know, because they're from the jungle in South America, and I'm sure it's very misty there. Humidity is up 1% from last time I checked. It doesn't really raise the humidity, but I mean, it doesn't let it drop. It keeps it about 80-ish. Yeah. And I guess some evaporates from the water bowl. Alright, and then moving on to the second part of this video. I'm gonna unplug this for a second. So it stops wasting water. And really all it is is that thing just pumps water, just straight water out into a hose. Out of that hose, just a tube of water coming out. And then that thing just kinda puts a stop on it with the little holes and lets that water come out. Okay, what we feed them are, well, you can't really see them. 
are um, wingless fruit flies. They are about as big as a pinhead. And I'm running very low on supply right now. Um, you just shake a few in there every day. And then you see there's a few n new eggs on the bottom that I'm really counting on because I'm going to run out of food. And like I said in my turtle video, if there are any... I'm very far away from any pet store. I think I think it's an hour from a real pet store, half hour from Walmart where I get fish. And so, yes, those are the little eggs of the fruit flies that I'm counting on to hatch soon because I am basically out. They need fed every day. And then I started a new culture with um, what I did is I just uh, mixed up that food, same stuff, but those like coffee filters in there. And then I dumped a bunch of the flies in. And I'm, I haven't seen any eggs yet, but that was just like three, maybe two or three days ago I put those in. And I'm really hoping that these guys start producing or I'm going to have to buy more that are already like this and have some. I need to do that. I really do. Okay. Um, you know, I think I think I'm about, I think I'm about done. Let's get you a nice shot of the blue ones. There. They're up on their perches. He's hopping. They don't really have any fur people, the blue ones. But the green ones, they're a different story. Whenever the door is closed, they are out. And it kind of seems like those guys are go away when the door is closed. But then, when the time comes that I open the door to make a video, these guys come out of nowhere. And the green ones pretty much disappear. Yep. And that, these are my poison dart frogs. I had to say. And I will be making the video, like I said in the first one, about um, when I get my um, get my uh, yellow ones. I'll show you the straight from the box that we get them in. Oh, we get them from a store. We don't order them offline because, I don't know. We just like being in, por in person, we get them. And so that wraps it up for the frogs. I will see you guys later.